Hi, my name is Lexi Jong, and thanks for joining me today. So today I am going to try out some of Kevin O'Quan's cosmetics. So I haven't really used too much from his line in the past. I have a couple of like highlighters and blushes that I've used before, and you know I have I have liked them. Um, not really sure why I've never really gotten into this brand, but I figured today we'll try it out. And I have an eyeshadow palette that looks really pretty and um, a new highlighter and blush to try out. So to get started, I'm gonna start off applying um, primer. So I'm gonna use the Surat Perfectionist Primer and I'm just putting about three fourths of a pump on my hands and starting in the T-zone and then rubbing outwards. And you know, technically it's spring, but um, the temperature's plummeted. So I'm really cold today. So that's why I'm wearing the turtleneck. All right, I think um, I'm also going to use this Guerlain Eye Stay Primer. And I think I've mentioned this before in another video. This is just something I'm trying to use up. I'm not gonna repurchase this. It's not a great primer. Um, it doesn't really help with longevity, but it does help uh, products go on smoothly, so that's nice. Um, and it does feel moisturizing on the lids. So it has a, a couple of positives, but nothing enough for me to repurchase that. All right, and then I think for foundation today, I am going to use, Let's use this um, Jane Iredale Beyond Matte. This is shade M1. Just gonna shake it up a little. I haven't used this in a while. Okay. All right, so here's this. I guess I probably didn't shake it quite enough. It's a little runny or than usual. You can see a little separation there. And this is the Coyota Fupa 03 brush. And prior to adding um, the primer or anything down, I did have skincare and sunscreen down. So I had I applied those maybe like an hour or so ago. Okay, so I think that's enough. I'm gonna wipe the rest of this off. I actually ended up just needing a very small amount all right, so for concealer today, I'm going to use the Pat McGrath Labs mixed with the Sisley Phytosomy Clot. And I'm just taking a swatch of each of my hand and doing a 50-50 mix. So the Phytosomy Clot I have in shade one. The Pat McGrath Concealer I have in L1. It's a little light for me and the Phytosarnes Eclat is a little dark, so this makes the perfect match for me. Okay, and now to set the concealer, I'm going to use a Pat McGrath Under Eye Blurring Powder in light, and I'm just putting some on my finger and smoothing it under. All right, so I'm actually going to set the foundation with this powder as well. So just taking the Chikahudu F01 brush and getting a little bit on here. All right, I think next I wanna start playing with the eyeshadow. So let me show you the palette and then I'll move you guys in closer for the look. So this is the Emphasize Eye Design Palette, and this is the shade Magnify. So on the back, it's got all everything labeled. It's made in Italy. This is the box that it came in. So if you wanna see the ingredients here. And inside, you've got a mirror here, and you can see it says, Beauty Belongs to the Brave on there. Um, little plastic thing. And then these are the actual eyeshadow shades. 
So we have, this is a cream foil eyeshadow in the shade Platinum. And let's swatch this. It actually looks like a purpley silver um, in the tube. So, oh, it's purple. So uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> and then these are the eyeshadow shades. So we have Frost, Wisteria, Kaleidoscope, Smoke, and then Onyx. All right, so let me go ahead and I'll swatch these for you guys. Okay, so let me move my sleep out of the way. So here are the swatches of the eyeshadows. Again, this is the liquid in Platinum. And then in the powders, we have Frost, starting with the latest, Wisteria, Kaleidoscope, Smoke, and Onyx. I have to say the Onyx looks to be a pure black and actually swatched very smoothly. So we'll see how that turns out. And um, basically these are all, the Wisteria and the Onyx are pretty matte. Both the, what is this? The Frost and the Smoke. Frost and, yeah, so this is Kaleidoscope, which you can see is a glitter shade, but the Frost and the Smoke are both like a satin shimmer. Okay, and these two are more matte. All right, so let's go ahead and play with these. I'm not sure how I'm going to use the liquid. I might not get to that today, but I really like that shade. So I'm definitely intrigued to play with that. But I think let's go ahead and start with the Wisteria shade. So let me move you guys in and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with the Sonia G Crease Pro Brush in the Wisteria shade and I'm going to apply this to my crease. I'm not really concerning myself with being neat here. Okay, moving in with more of a shader style brush. This is the Isom W21. And I am going to start off with this frost shade and add a little bit to this inner, not even like the inner fourth, just like a little bit of the inner corner, but a little wider. Wiping that brush off, I am then going to move into this shade here, um, Smoke. And I'm going to put this on the outer portion, maybe outer third or so. I'm just gonna dab it kind of all the way to the middle actually. So I did get a little bit of fallout here. Um, maybe I didn't tap my brush hard enough, but to say this color, it goes on smoothly and it's kind of like a perfect gray to use for a smoky eye look. So um, that makes me happy. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take the Wisteria again and put this on my lid kind of on the other half. I'm going over the frost a little bit, but I'm hoping that it's still a little translucent through there. All right, so I wanna see how well this glitter shade Kaleidoscope does with the brush. So I'm gonna use the same brush, I just wiped it off, and I'm gonna kinda of put this in the middle, and I'm tapping it on. I feel like you can't really see too much of that shade. I'm gonna to switch to my finger. So it looks gorgeous on the finger. There we go. And I'm kind of going over the whole lip with this. I'm going back in with the Isom W21 back into the smoke shade and just adding a touch more to the outer corner here. I'm not really blending that in, I'm just tapping that on. And next I'm taking the Crease Pro Brush that I used in the beginning 
and I'm gonna kind of blend up here. Okay, and I think to line the eyes, I was going to use the black and I still might, but first I'm going to go in with the liquid. So I'm going to take the Sonia G Smudger One brush and I'm just gonna get a little bit of this here on the brush. And when I use a brush with one of these liquids, I do like to kind of rub it back and forth on the back of my hand to kind of concentrate that color on the tip. Not super noticeable on the upper lash line. Let's, but I'm putting some on the lower lash line too. All right, so I think that worked better on the lower lash line. It's too similar in color on the upper, but I'm gonna take the ESMT05 and go into the onyx shade and stamp this across the upper lashes. So I did tap off my brush. I'm just using a pressing motion, but I'm definitely getting a ton of fallout here. Just gonna add a little bit of the residue to the lower lashes, but I'm keeping it as close to the lash line as possible so I still have purple underneath. Okay, and I just wanna brighten up the inner corner more, so I'm going in with the Sonia G Pencil One, and I'm going into this frost shade, and I'm twirling my brush in it back and forth to kind of get it a little bit all over. Drag this a little bit under the lash line as well. All right, so I feel like with this palette, with the quantity of fallout, I definitely should have put foundation and stuff on afterwards. But uh, right now, I'm just gonna take this crease brush one more time, go over this, and then I'm gonna add some mascara. Okay, so let's go ahead and finish off this look. I added the mascara. I obviously still have left the fall here. I'm going to go in with this brush and try and brush it away. You can see that it is smearing a bit. Um, oh, that is disappointing. I was kind of hoping it would brush off nicely since it is set. But I think I'm just going to go back in then with the foundation brush that I used before. And I hope any of the residue can kind of help mask that a little bit. So it's not gone completely. You can still definitely see some sparkle and so forth, but I think it's a lot better. And let's face it, it's not like I'm going anywhere today. So um, I think it's good enough for today. And next time I use this palette, I will make sure to do the eyeshadow prior to putting on any face makeup or maybe baking with powder underneath. But honestly, I think I'd rather just put the foundation on afterwards. All right, so um, moving on, let's look at the blush. So this is the blush, the, the Neo blush in Pink Sand. This is not a new product. This has been out for a while, but I didn't have it. I'm not sure if the eyeshadow palette is new or not. I hadn't seen it until a few months ago, but that doesn't mean that much. <laughs> so um, anyway, the blush comes in the typical Kevin O'Quan packaging. You've got a mirror. This mirror doesn't say anything. It's just a regular mirror. And then here is the blush. So I'm going to go ahead and use something soft. So I'm using the Sonia G Soft Cheek, and I'm gonna run across all of the colors. All right, so 
I have a couple other um, blushes from him, you know, just like this. I have Grapevine, which is like a purpley one. And do I have another one? I think I have another one. Oh yeah, I think it's called Sunset. It's like orangey, pink and orangey. And I actually do really like them. I think the gradient actually has a nice touch. The, there is a touch of shimmer in here. You can see this. So let me swatch the blush. I'm just running my finger all the way along the length so you can see how it looks when I apply it. Put it here. So it's really, you know, a soft pink at the end. Go. Oh, smudge the black into that, but anyway. All right, and I'm going to apply a little finishing powder before I add the highlight. I'm gonna use the Coke and Dough um, Brightening Moisture Powder. I'm gonna go in with the Chikahodu and Beautylish Lunar New Year brush and just get some on here. I really, really love the sheen that you get from this powder. It gives your skin like a soft, kind of a luminous satin glow. Um, so I, I, I really like that and uh, just love the way it looks. All right, so moving on to the highlight. And this is gigantic. By the way, this blush is made in China and the highlight is also made in China, but the eyeshadow is made in Italy. All right, so this highlight comes, this one actually has a velvet pouch. So you lift that up and then Again, here's the typical Kevin O'Quan packaging. And you've got the mirror on one end, and this is the highlight. And I think this is really beautiful. So I actually purchased this, you know, with the uh, Magnify eye palette just because I thought the colors went so nicely together. <laughs> and for a highlight today, I'm going in with the Refer 20 brush. And I am sweeping the brush across here. And it's so light, you can barely see it, but it's definitely there on the brush. I'm just gonna tap some, just in case. All right, so I actually wanted to go in with this. This frost color I used on the inner corner, um, I think it's only okay, so I'm gonna go in with the pencil one brush on here. I'm going to use this purple side, and I'm gonna use this and apply this over the frost here to the inner corner. I just think the purple shade looks a little bit better with this eye look. I'm gonna add a little bit under the brows. So let me go ahead and I'll swatch the highlight for you guys. Put it right here. Let me get some more on there. So you can see it has like a soft lavender sheen to it. I don't have another highlight with this purpley shade to it. One thing to note though is look at the side of my palette now. It's definitely very powdery. So I think the highlight looks really nice. It's actually a lot um, brighter than I expected. All right, so let me go ahead and finish off brows today. I am going to use the Wonder Beauty Brow Gel. This is a shade taupe. And this is essentially more of a tint. It doesn't really, um, you know, I don't think it holds shape very much, like a little bit, but if you have like really and really brows, this is not gonna work at all. Um, but it does give a nice tint to it. And for me, my issue is more um, sparse areas. So um, this is just a spoolie on the back of the brow pencil. All right, so for lips today, I wanna go with something bright. So I'm taking the Guerlain Cherry Blossom. This is 
this is one of the shades. The shade is technically part of the permanent collection, but you can see this cherry blossom engraving is limited edition. This is a matte shade. It's number 61. Okay, so this is the final look today. And I think normally with such deep eyeshadow, I would go with a softer lip, probably like a soft pink um, lipstick or lip gloss. But I was really in the mood for a bright pink lipstick today. So it is a cold and dreary day outside. So um, let me go ahead and I'll talk about all these products. First of all, the Guerlain lipstick. Um, if you've watched my channel, you know I love Guerlain lipsticks. I love the satin shades in particular, and I can't wait to try the sheer ones. And the matte shades, I don't typically wear a matte lipstick, but I do like the Guerlain mattes because they are not a true matte. They continue to stay creamy on your lips. They don't like totally dry down. And you can see just looking at it that it has a sheen to it. It's more of a satin matte than a real matte. So I personally prefer that. So I like the Guerlain mattes, but I prefer the satin still. All right, so on to the Kevin O'Quan products. For the Magnify eyeshadow palette. So again, here are the swatches for this. I really love this color story. I think the color story is great. I love the shade of the liquid eyeshadow, um, but I'm a little disappointed in the actual palette. So I feel like the shadows in general are a little bit more powdery and dry than what I typically prefer to wear. And Although the colors all swatch very smoothly and they applied smoothly on the lid as well. I had no problems with blending or application, but there was just a lot of fallout even though I was tapping my brush off. I felt pretty, um, you know, pretty hard tap. So um, I just feel like there shouldn't be that much fallout. And the shade I was most excited about is this shade Kaleidoscope here. And I feel like it fell short. So... It looks like it's gonna be a really pretty, vibrant sparkle shade. And you know, this is several coats of it on top there. And I feel like the glitter is really more diffuse and you know, it's just not a concentrated sparkly look, which is what I was looking for. Even though I think it's meant to be a topper, um, I'm okay with it being more of a sheer base, but I feel like the sparkle should be really present. And this seems more like a pressed glitter pigment versus an eyeshadow to me. Um, it's a little bit chunkier than I expected. I prefer it to be a little bit more finely milled. And, you know, just in general, the color payoff was just not what I was anticipating. So uh, I think that shade is what really kind of sold me on this palette. So I was disappointed. I also have to say the frost shade, I just, feel like it's not perfect for this color story. Um, and it doesn't have a lot of payoff either. Like I like having a light frostier shade in here, but I feel like it's a little bit too stark um, and kind of blends away. So you can easily blend it away to kind of get rid of it. But if you want it to really show up, you know, I just don't think it's the right tone um, for this color story but um, that may just be me. And yeah, I think overall, that's it for that. Obviously I haven't worn this liquid eyeshadow all over my lids. I have no idea how well it wears or anything, but I do really like the color. <laughs> so I will be playing with these another time. I can't give any thoughts on that. Um, the blush and the highlight. So again, I have um, a couple of these blushes already and I think they are nice. I actually, you know, I've used them before and I liked them, but I didn't really love them. And I wasn't really sure why, which is why I wanted to try this brand again. Um, but I do really love how they look when you mix them all together. And I feel like that is pretty much across the board. However, I feel like both the powder and the highlight are also a little bit drier and powdery. They look good on the skin, but just beware that they are a little bit powdery in the pan. So that may or may not bother you. It doesn't really bother me. So, you know, I'll continue to use these, but um, 
yeah, I think I just have to wear them more before I can give any true thoughts on those, but they do seem to be decent products. So again, the eyeshadow palette was really the only thing that I found disappointing. Um, so if you guys have used any of these, I'd love to hear your thoughts. So please leave them down below in the comments. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. So stay safe and healthy and I'll see you soon.